All right, here we've got an example where we're going to use the graph to find the absolute um, and local maximum and minimum values. So uh, absolute maximum and minimums and also local maximum and minimums. Um, oftentimes people just give the y values, so we can kind of use both notations here. So um, if we want to figure out sort of the local minimums and also sort of the local maximum values, well, again, I just kind of imagine I'm looking sort of at a mountain range off in the distance, you know, obviously uh, kind of a weird mountain range because it keeps going forever. But if we're looking for local minimums, I'm kind of looking at, you know, sort of imagining like, you know, kind of looking at the valley um, of my mountain range, sort of, a, 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 you know, just where it bottoms out. So at this point, negative 5, comma, 3, we would say we have a local minimum. And oftentimes people will just specify the y value. So we could say the y value of 3 corresponds to a local minimum. Well, let's see. When we get to this point, negative 2, comma, 5, uh, notice this is kind of like a little top of a hill. That would be considered a local maximum. So we could say we have a local maximum uh, at the y value of 5. Again, uh, as we go down, it kind of bottoms out here at this point, 1, comma, negative 4. So again, that would be a local minimum. So we have a local minimum at the y value of negative 4. Uh, here at the point 4, comma, 5, we kind of have the, you know, the little top of the hill. So again, 5 would correspond to a local maximum value, but we've already got it listed, so we don't have to list it again. And again, at, at this point 6, comma, 4, you're at the bottom, so we could say at y equals 4, there's a local minimum. If you actually want to specify, you know, the points, obviously you just do the same thing. So you could say you have a local minimum at negative 5, comma, 3, um, at the point 1, comma, negative 4, and also at the point 6, comma, 4. Let's squeeze that guy back in there. Um, we have local maximums at the points negative 2, comma, 5, and also at the point 4, comma, 5. Okay, so that takes care of local maximums and minimums. When we talk about the absolute maximum and the absolute minimum, well, now we're just kind of thinking, you know, I just think of all the y values, if I were to list every single y value on this graph, all infinitely many of them, I'm just thinking what would be the, the largest y value that ever gets used if there is one, and what would be the smallest y value that ever gets used if there is one. Well, it looks like to me my function, since it keeps going up forever and ever and ever on either side, um, well, in that case, there's really not an absolute maximum, because, you know, the y values always get bigger, 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 um, so there's sort of no, there's no uh, top, no biggest y value, so I would say there's no absolute maximum, but when I think about the absolute minimum, well, this point down here at the bottom, at 1, negative 4, to me that looks like the smallest y value that ever gets used. So we could say our absolute minimum is the y value of negative 4. And again, you could specify, you know, specify the point like we did. You could say the absolute minimum is at the point 1, negative 4.